like to share uh, three aspects uh, regarding the recommendation for uh, 40's five year plan and 2035 long term objectives. Uh, first, this documentation is not completely new, actually, there's a lot of continuation of the, uh, the previous uh, uh, innovation in the theories, uh, like particularly the new development series, which was developed in the, in the last five year plan. Uh, so, as you see that from the document, there's a lot of focus on the, uh, the high quality growth and they're also talking a lot about the economic transformation, say boosting domestic demand and uh, uh, the uh, consumption upgrades. And also talk a lot about the continuation of the reform and openness policy and the, uh, the uh, market-based allocation of the production factors. So, these are all in the previous uh, five-year plan and also that uh, the other key area is that green economy, environment protection. So uh, again, this is a continuation of what China has been doing in the last uh, five years or even longer. And second, that this document includes a lot of new changes. Right? Uh, so for example, the uh, innovation has received a much more prominent role uh, in this uh, uh, documents, and particularly talk about the uh, more R&D and the technology innovation and the uh, innovation journey growth model. And related to that, actually, uh, the second key words that we see much more uh, prominent role is the security. So yes, we're talking about the, uh, the, the, the supply chain the security and also the self-sufficiency in the key and fundamental technologies. And also we're talking about the national security issue. And the, uh, the third key word is uh, common prosperity. And so I always bet that China will focus on the reducing income inequality and also in enhancing the social safety networks uh, system. Finally, talk about the, yeah, the long-term uh, growth targets, and by 2035, uh, China should double GDP. And we think it's, uh, it's challenging because it's consistent with our long-term assessment on China's potential growth. Uh, we expect that for the 14th five-year plan, the growth target will be set at 5.5%, and probably later on, say, moving to 4.5%, and later on to 3.5 to 4% range. And with that, China is able to achieve the, uh, these uh, long-term targets.